reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most developed student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on completing a square. So we are going to learn the concept or the technique of completing a square. Now, already the problem that is given is kind of a high-end question, but it is going to give you um, a good foundation for you to solve or to simplify a question that says complete a square. Now, the first thing that you need to remember whenever you're completing a square, your, 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 your expression must always be written in, in the form of ax squared, if I can... It must be written in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c. So that is the aim of your expression. Now, if you can look at the expression that is given here, you can see that it is actually in a mixed way. So now the aim now is to rearrange. So when you rearrange it, we are going to have 5x squared to start with a squared, which is fine. And then we've got minus 10x minus 6 that is the first thing that you must do whenever you're completing a square make sure that it is arranged in this order and then when you have done that the second thing that you need to know this so this is the first part and then the second thing that you need to know when you're completing a square is that the coefficient this coefficient of x squared must be 1 so coefficient of x squared must be equal to 1. So there must actually be no number except a 1. So what you do, if we are given such a problem like this, it means we are going to take out a 5. And when you take out a 5, as factorizing, you are going to have x squared. Now remember 5 is like you're dividing. So you are going to have uh, five div uh, 10 divided by 5, you'll have minus 2x and minus 6 divided by 5 you're going to have minus 6 over 5 so that is basically what you're having so that when the 5 multiplies and expand inside you are still going to get your 5x squared minus 10x minus 6 then when you're given that you can then complete a square on the third part so the third part now when you have simplified that then you can complete a square now when you're completing a square what you need to focus on is basically that number so how do we write it when completing a square we are going to have x squared minus 2x and then what we're going to introduce here is we are going to say half we want to find the coefficient of x here is minus 2 so we're going to say plus we introduce half times and then the coefficient of x here is negative 2 and then we're going to square that that is the concept of completing a square but since we introduce something we must also take it out which is minus 1 over 2 times minus 2 squared and then after that we have got minus 6 i'm going to explain that further so what actually happened is we looked at the coefficient of x. Now the coefficient of x is negative 2. So we're going to find the half of negative 2. So in as much as I said half times minus 2 is the same as dividing negative 2 by 2. And then remember we added something. When we're adding it means we've introduced something because there is no equal sign and we must also take it out. That is the concept of completing a square. So if you continue then, you're going to have x squared minus 2x plus, now if you find half of negative 2, you're going to have minus 1 squared minus minus 1 squared minus 6. So that is the concept of completing a square in this case. Now if it continues, what you're going to have is this 3 
they can now give you a square that's why they call it completing a square so if this first three how do you write them you look at the powers we have got x that's the first part with a square and the other square is in minus one you write minus one now you put everything in that square hence they say completing a square and then in this case now you simplify the other part you simplify the other part with the calculator, which is minus bracket minus 1 squared. Minus 1 squared is a 1, so minus 1 minus 6, which will give you a negative 7. Now, if we take a look at all of this carefully, you will also discover that in the beginning, I just left out the, neg the 5 there. So in all of these, you have your 5 outside. In all of these you have your 5 outside and in, and in all of these you have your 5 outside so the 5 in this case maintains throughout because it is multiplying everything that is inside the bracket now the next question it says solve for x by completing a square this is what we just did previously the problem that we're given is similar to the one that we had previously but in this case let's just have a look at this one because the interesting part in this question is there is now an equal sign and whenever there is an equal sign it makes things much better and easier to understand because what you do on the left hand side you do it on the right hand side so the first thing as i said you must arrange your problem as a x squared plus bx plus c but in this case o it is also fine if you arrange it now in the form of ax squared plus bx is equal to c so the first one remember there was no equal sign but in the second one if there's an equal sign you can also arrange it in the second version so in this case we are going to have 5x squared plus 10x because the 10 must jump the equal sign it will become a positive because it is negative and then it is equal to the 6 is negative when it jumps the equal sign it will become a positive 6 now the next part remember that was step number one step number two we said the coefficient of what of x squared must be equal to 1 so in this case you can see that the coefficient of x squared there is a 5 so you divide everything by 5 each and every item you divide it by 5 so when you have done that that the that's the advantage of having an equal sign because you can do what we do on the left as well as on the right so when you cancel out you are going to have x squared plus 2x is equal to 6 over 5 and then now when you're completing a square you do the same thing we did previously you say x squared plus 2x plus as we say half the introduce is half the coefficient of x now this is the coefficient of x so it's half times 2 and then you square it that's what you introduced is equal to 6 over 5 if I can have that it's 6 over 5 now again plus because what I do on the left I must do on the right which is 1 over 2 times 2 to the power 2 that's what they mean when they say completing a square now whatever you have here you're going to have x squared plus 2x plus now half of 2 is 1 you don't have to simplify it you leave it as 1 squared and then it will become 6 over 5 plus 1 squared so the right hand side can always be simplified with the calculator because it's always numbers so now what you will notice is you have got now a square this expression now becomes a square whereby you write it as x plus 1 you see there is a, the square the square so you write as x there is a positive there so it's x plus 1 squared is equal to 
if you can use a calculator to simplify the right hand side you have got 6 over fraction if I can say 6 over 5 plus 1 is still the same as saying 1 squared I'm just doing it so it's 11 over 5 so you are going to have 11 over a 5 so when you have done that the next part that you need to do is for you to solve for x so how do you solve for x because there is a square what you're going to do is to square root so when you are square root you are getting rid of the square so you are saying x plus 1 squared so whenever there is a square root you put a, a I mean whenever you are solving uh, and you have a square you introduce a square root but remember what you do on the left hand side you also do on the right hand side but what if whatever you do on, on the right hand side don't forget you must say plus or minus so here is 11 over 5 but it must say plus or minus because there are two answers that we are going to get because you introduced a square root so now you are going to have x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus square root of 11 over 5 now if you find now the final answer in here what you're going to have is x is equal to minus 1 now the positive 1 jumps the equal sign to become a negative plus or minus square root of 11 over a 5 so this is how you can solve for x or these are the two answers of x in other ways x in other ways you've got two values of x x is equal to minus 1 plus the top one square root of 11 over 5 or x is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 11 over 5 so this is how you can solve for that if you want to prove it you can also prove it with a calculator if I can to prove that my answer is correct I'm going to choose just one one of the values so remember what I have from the top I can take if I can bring the top part a bit lower if you still remember this is what we started with I can bring my calculator now we started with 5x we started with 5x squared minus 6 is equal to minus 10x so now if I can have my square here where I'm going to be doing my working and then have my calculator I'm just trying to prove to see that is correct now if I can have this I'm going to say minus 1 plus square root of bracket 11 over 5 equal to remember this is my answer so that's how the calculator simplified so now I'm going to say 5 I'm, I'm now in the top part 5x squared which is 5 answer remember the answer that I got I square it minus 6 what is it giving me it is giving me 10 minus 2 root 55 so is it is 10 minus 2 root 55 I'm also going to do the same thing let me bring my calculator and now remember in my calculator I said minus 1 plus square root of 11 over 50, 11 over 5 well, I got that so now this is my if I want to say minus 10x so I'll say minus 10 answer equal to 10 minus 2 root 5 5 so it is equal to this is equal to 10 minus 2 root 5 5 so now what do you notice you're noticing that the left hand side is now equal to the right hand side 
so it means our values of x are correct so what I, what I just did is I put the value of x there I put the value of x here and I saw there was a balance so this is what we mean when we say completing a square and solving for x by completing a square I hope you benefited from the lesson see you again in other lessons that are similar thank you for my vision I reached out for help that I thought I needed Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion